In this video, I am going to show you how to do the configuration of Huawei B535-235 LTE Wi-Fi router. For this purpose, we need to log in the router using web browser. First, we need to find the IP of router for logging. Here I am using the ncpa.cpl command in run. Then find the IP address from network interface. Here you are able to see the default IP address is 192.168.8.1 or you are able to see from the back side of the router if you have not changed the IP address. Then enter the IP address in the web browser. Here you need to enter the password. The default password is admin. Once after login the router, you are able to see the status of router and the connectivity. First I am going to show you how to change the Wi-Fi name and Wi-Fi password. Select advanced then Wi-Fi. If we select Wi-Fi security settings, you can change the Wi-Fi name and Wi-Fi password. This is a dual band Wi-Fi. So you are able to change the Wi-Fi name and Wi-Fi password of 2.4 giga and 5 giga band. For this purpose, you need to press the right side edit button. Now you are able to see the Wi-Fi name, security mode, Wi-Fi password. Here I am changing Wi-Fi name, security mode and Wi-Fi password. Once after, we need to press the save button. Please note, if you are already connected with the same Wi-Fi name and password, your connectivity will lose once after saving the changes. Here I am using cabled connectivity so it will not impact the settings changes. Now our Wi-Fi settings has been changed. Now I am looking how to do the port forwarding in this router. For this purpose need to select the security. Here you need to select the virtual server. Press the add button in the virtual server. Enter the name of port forwarding and select the protocol. If it is UDP, you can select UDP. If it is TCP, you can select TCP or you can select both TCP and UDP. Then enter the WAN port. WAN port means external port which you are using from outside to access the internal server. Here you can use a range of port that means starting and ending of the port. Then select the device. Here you are able to select the device directly from the device list or you can enter the IP address manually. Here I am entering the IP address manually. Then enter the LAN port, internal port which is your server using. Here you need to enter the starting port. Ending port will be filled automatically after matching with the WAN port. Then press the save button. If you want to add multiple port forwarding using the add button. If you want to delete the saved policy, you are able to delete using the delete button. Or you can disable it. Now I am going to show you how to enable the DMSA. For this purpose, you need to select the for this purpose you need to select the DMSA from security. Then enable the DMSA status. Then you can select the device from the device list or you can enter the IP address manually then press the save button if you want to disable the DMS you need to disable the DMS status as disabled if you want to enable the UPnP settings for auto port forwarding you can enable the status this may cause the security issues please make sure before doing the UPnP settings. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please press the like button, share and subscribe.